Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, I haven't done duct tape in a very long time and I felt the time was here to do some more. So we are going to take this very simple Ziploc bag and turn it into this adorable little purse pouch. And it's got a little pocket in the front and an easy open top. I'm going to teach you how to make it right now. For this project, you'll need duct tape an X-Acto knife or box cutter, cutting board, scissors, one gallon Ziploc bag, sticky back Velcro. And in this case, I have pre-made a 48 inch strap. See how the Ziploc bag is sealed here on the end? I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna snip that right there so that that opens up now. This is just gonna make it easier for the next step. So I'm just going to snip both sides. Now what I want to do is take this edge here and I'm going to tape it down onto the Ziploc bag. So I'm just going to be using some tape. Just little strips of tape here. I like to use three strips. That's what I find is a good number. You put one here. one in the middle and one on this side over here. So you've taped down that back flap. Now what we're going to do is take a strip of tape. I'm going to be using blue. The exact length from side to side here. Just going to use my exacto knife. I call this an exacto knife. It's tip it's t really actually what it is is a box cutter. But I like these because they slide in and out. Peel your tape. Lay the line of tape right at the edge as close as you can get, but what you don't want to do is put it over top of the other one, of the other edge. You're going on the inside edge right above where that Ziploc is. So see where the Ziploc is right here. And I'm not getting close to that Ziploc. I'm right over top of it. Then I flip this over and fold this till it meets the edge of the Ziploc part. So right to the edge. So basically what I've done is I've just sealed in that Ziploc edge. Now peel these pieces of tape and repeat this process on the other side, folding down the piece that you've already done and sealing it with those pieces of tape. That gives us the top part. Now we're going to be doing a different technique than we normally do when we're making duct tape fabric and duct tape purses and things like that, we're going to be doing a flip-flop technique. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my polka dots. I'm going to pull my tape out. And what I want to do is actually go about an inch longer on either side than the width of the bag. I'm going to take this all the way up to the edge and I'm going to overlap. Now, if you have any extra on the side here, just trim that right now. So, so you can see here, there's a little bit of extra. Trim that so that that is not sticking out over the sides. Take your tape, make sure you overlap by about a quarter to a half an inch. So see, you can see where I've overlapped. Now flip it over and seal that side and seal the other side. So now I've sealed both sides. At this point, we are going to add the strap. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to give yourself a bunch of little pieces. Take your strap. And this is very, very important. I want to make sure you see this. When you lay down your strap, 
you're going to go flat and flat. But this part is going to do a slight up and over twist. So see, this is flat, this is flat, this goes up and over. What you don't want to do is twist it. You want it to go straight up and straight over like that. Take your strap, you want to lay it in so that it is about two to three, like a thumb width from the top of the bag. You want to make sure you have at least about an inch and a half to two inches of strap right here below the bag opening. Take a piece of tape, a little piece, and just lay it right on top going this way across. Do the same thing underneath it and once again underneath so that you have sealed that whole piece of strap in. But now what you're going to do is come back with another piece and you're going to go up and down. So you're going to go parallel and you're going to seal off those pieces that you just put down. Now, once again, this is a point where you want to just check and make sure that your strap is not twisted and then you want to lay down the second strap side. There you can see both straps are sealed in place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back with a second piece of tape and I ripped that piece of tape, so I want to make this nice and smooth here. Get rid of that. This piece of tape is going to be exactly the right size. So I'm not going to overlap, meaning that it's not going to go from the front to the back. So I'm going to cut this piece here. It's the same size as the bag. So that when I lay this over top, and I'm lined up, I'm lining it up, where it came over the edge. This is why I folded it over. So you see how it comes over here and over to the back? That's where I'm going to line up this piece of tape, right at the top from side to side. So there you can see I have really sealed this strap in nice and tight, so that's not going to come undone. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go on a process of going back and forth with the design. And in this case, I'm going to do polka dots and I'm going to do green. You may find, according to how much you've overlapped here, that you might have a little teeny, teeny, tiny bit of extra clear. That's totally fine. Don't worry about that because now what we're going to do is we're going to actually seal this end. And what we're going to do is take the same color that we did for our upper part. And this can be a little bit, a tiny little bit bigger than the actual bag, width-wise, just a tiny bit. We're going to cut it right down the middle. Now, if you have a lot left over here, if you've got actually a strip of clear, then what you're going to do is you're going to leave this full. But because I have come pretty close to the edge, I'm just going to be using a half piece. And I'm just going to cut that right down the middle this off to the side because I'll use it again later on. And I'm going to do the half on, half off, which means I'm going to put it half on, half off, flip it over, and fold this over and seal the bag. Now I'm going to just snip off those tiny little extra wings that I have there. And just be careful that you don't cut the bag. Make sure you cut to the outside edge. Now you can leave your bag, if you want to, just like this, and have a nice open bag, big and long one. But this one I'm going to be making a pocket for. So what I'm going to do is fold this up where I think that's like a nice pocket. I could make it bigger if I wanted to. But I'm going to fold it up about one third of the way up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my tape because I'm going to do a half on, half off here, half on, half off there, and then I'm going to come across the back to make it match the front. Half on, half off. Flip it over. Seal it. I'm going to close that off. Otherwise it looks like it's going to nowhere. 
So I'm going to close that off like that. And now it kind of matches the front. Get rid of that little extra wing. Now you also can leave this at this point and have a nice little flat bag. But I'm going to give it a little pooch. So because I'm going to give it a pooch, I'm going to get some tape ready for the bottom. This remaining piece here, I'm going to slice right down the middle. And then I'm going to cut myself some little strips. This I'll remove. I'll need this big piece. And then I'm going to cut some little strips. Now, to pooch it, I take my hand, place it in the center, and right in here where the edge is, where the end is, I'm going to put my finger right there. And you can see as I squeeze it, you can see where my finger is, I can make a triangle or a kitty cat ear. See that? I call that a kitty cat ear. So you just take that edge, that little kitty cat ear, and fold it down. And using a piece of this tape, I'm going to seal it down. So line it up and seal it down. Now that opens your bag up. Now you want to seal it. You can use this polka dot tape if you want, but I'm going to stick with matching with this blue strip so that it kind of goes all the way around the bag. So I just line this up over here and pull it right across the bottom. And it can come up and match with the sides here. And just make sure you flatten that out down really nice and even. There you go. So now you've got this really awesome bag. Isn't that cute? So then the only thing that's left is, you see how you've kind of got a little space in between here? It won't hurt anything, but if you want to, you can take some little pieces of tape and seal that as well. Just little pieces. And it doesn't need to be anything major. It's just to keep things, let's see if we can get in there so you guys can see. Just like that, see, in the bottom there? And that's just to make sure that nothing sneaks down underneath that little tiny, tiny, tiny ledge. And I mean, it is tiny. It isn't really that noticeable at all, but just in case. And now what we want to do is add a little piece of Velcro. So I've got my sticky back Velcro here. Just peel one side, keep the two sticky pieces together, but peel one side of the sticky and place it on the inside of your flap. Then peel back the other sticky piece of paper backing from the sticky piece and then push it down. That's going to make sure that it goes in the exact place that you want it. And then see, you can Velcro it open and shut. Make sure that anything that you put in here won't fall out. So now you have this great bag and what's awesome about it is it's waterproof. And it seals itself. And there you have it, your very own duct tape bag made out of a Ziploc bag. Now, if you enjoy duct tape projects, make sure you check out my YouTube channel because I have over a hundred unique and different duct tape projects and they're all there waiting for you to check them out. Now, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe because you'll get a new video every Wednesday and Friday. And if you enjoy this project, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, leave them down below. For more fun stuff, check us out, sobi-world.com.